Hello, Dr. Brad Hulsebus here, and welcome to another edition of Ask the Chiropractor. Ask the Chiropractor is my little podcast that I do. When someone has a question about chiropractic or chiropractic care, I try to answer. I'm a chiropractor here in Rockford, Illinois. I'm a proud graduate of Palmer College of Chiropractic, and I'm happy to be the team chiropractor of the Rockford Ice Hogs. Let's dive into it. Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about a chiropractic issue that's very true to us, the, my family. It is how my family discovered chiropractic. Chiropractic and fertility and women's health. I'm going to focus on fertility for women because chiropractics had really good results in helping women with fertility issues. I can't say the same for men. I just know from experience that we've helped a lot of women with fertility issues, not so many men. So I'm going to talk a little bit about women's health and chiropractic and fertility issues. Now, if you go to my website, you'll see there's a video there when you first go on it. And the video is a story of all me, my cousins, and my uncles telling the story of how my grandparents first discovered chiropractic. I'm going to give you a quick abbreviated version of this, but if you want to hear the whole story, check it out. We each have a little different version of the story, so we went with the professional videographer who cut and spliced the videos and tried to make a linear story based on the variations from all of us and how we know the story. Grandma and Grandpa were driving across the country and they stopped in Davenport, Iowa. They ended up at the BJ Palmer Clinic where Dr. Palmer from Palmer College is at. And Grandma had a lot of female health problems and was told she could probably never have children. Well, Dr. Palmer started taking care of Grandma and before Grandma knew it, her female health problems improved dramatically. And not only that, but she was able to become pregnant with my Uncle Roger. And that's how the Hulsebus family came to be. And that's how the Hulsebus family became chiropractors. Because Grandpa had to pay the bill. He couldn't afford it, so he enrolled as a student in order to pay the chiropractic bill. And Grandpa became a chiropractor. So whenever we were at, when I was at college, at Palmer College, where Dr. BJ actually took care of my grandma at the exact same place, I always, not that I wasn't paying attention all the time, but I, my ears always perked up when they talked about these issues because I knew that was my family history, my family lineage with chiropractic was women's health problems and fertility issues. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how this all works and how Dr. Palmer helped my grandmother and how we've helped many other women here over the years. Too many to talk about, too many to count. Uh, and not only that, but we've had so many People want to call it miracles. I don't like that word because I can tell you the science behind it. But so many women who thought they could never conceive, able to conceive. So let's talk about it. Now, if you go back to last week, I talked about chiropractic care with GI issues. And this has a lot to do with the same area because the small intestines and the female reproductive organs are all in the same neighborhood. You see, when the lower back goes misaligned, there's nerves that come out of there. And when the lower back misaligns, what we know is without a doubt, there are chemicals that are released and those chemicals hit the nerve, travel down the nerve root where it goes and tells the body that we are in sympathetic mode. What is sympathetic mode? You've probably heard of it before, but you probably call it fight and flight. See, genetically speaking, as human beings, we are all hunters and gatherers. Our gene code has not changed since the hunter and gatherer time. Being that if we were real hunters and gatherers, We'd only have one stress in our life, be it chemical, physical, or emotional. The only stress we'd ever have would be a bear, a tiger, a wolf, or an animal trying to eat us. And when we go into fight and flight mode or survival mode, what happens is it's catabolic, meaning that if we don't survive the next five, 10 minutes, nothing else matters. So our body goes, well, use things at the expense of long term because there might not be a long term. So our body will waste away and deteriorate because fight and flights are supposed to be over in five minutes. Either we kill the animal trying to kill us or the animal kills one of us and the rest of us get away. That's how fight and flight works, how we're designed to work. With that being said, part of being in fight and flight is not stopping and trying to make a baby because you're in survival mode. You're not in let's make a baby mode. So what happens is that part of the body gets shut down because it uses energy. And if we don't need it to survive a bear or wolf attack, we turn it off. Because why waste the energy and the cells and the sugar and everything else that we need when we should be fighting or running? If you have a misalignment in the lower back, and women, it's primarily L3. Because the L3 goes to the womb and the ovaries. If this one's misaligned, 
the nerves coming out of there telling the body that, hey, we're in danger, we're under attack. Let's not worry so much about the monthly cycle. Let's not worry so much about making the womb a place where the egg can implant. Let's just survive the moments. And the problem is when we have this L3 subluxation, when two bones are misaligned and the stress is going down the nerve, the body doesn't understand that this is going to be more than five minutes. It's going to be like that until something happens to it. And what happens to it is the chiropractor gives it a chiropractic adjustment and helps get rid of the stress that's keeping it locked, allows it to move, and it works its way back into place. That's how chiro that's what chiropractic is in its rawest form. That's really what we do. So when you go to the chiropractor and they tell you you have an L3 misalignment, a lot of times when we have a female patient, I will tell them, I bet you have a bad cycle every other month. Because when the vertebrae rotate, only one nerve is hitting that stress response. The other one's not getting it. So the ovaries alternate every other month. So the women will have a bad cycle every other month, whether that's cramping, migraine headaches, whatever it is. And that's why a majority of our female patients come see us the week before their cycle starts in order to help alleviate most of that stress and make it more normal cycle for themselves. But if these nerves are misaligned and they've been misaligned for a while, they also help with the lining of the, the womb, the uterus. And so if the uterus is not a healthy place, the egg will not implant, correct? Because only healthy people could be, are able to have babies. So what we'll do is we'll adjust the L3 area and we'll help the nerve flow going there. And what we'll see is after a couple of months that the woman will now be able to conceive. And we have a whole wall of little kid pictures of kids that weren't supposed to be or mom was told their only choice was going through medicine, the in vitro stuff. But through chiropractic, we were able to help them. We also have ones up there. They have adopted older brothers and sisters because mom and dad were told they could never have kids. And sometimes mom doesn't tell us this because she does. What's the point of telling the chiropractor that's it's irrelevant? I'm not going to share this information with them. And next thing you know, they find out they're pregnant when they didn't think it was possible because they've already been to other doctors. We adjusted L3 and we approved that area. Now, there's one other area that's involved in this. And the video before, when it comes to digestive issues, if you watched last week's video, we talked, talked about the stress response, the fight and flight response, but I mentioned there's an opposite too. It's called the parasympathetic. That's the one that turns the stress response off. Now, belly button up, all that comes from the top bone in your neck. The C1 is called the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve, vagus means Latin, it wanders all over the whole body and it tells the body that danger's gone, the wolf's gone, the bear's gone. It's time to get out of the fight and flight and go back to normal. If your upper neck's misaligned, that vagus nerve has problems with it. And so we have to adjust your upper neck to tell that vagus nerve that it's danger's gone. There's a whole field of chiropractic called upper cervical that specializes in just taking care of this one nerve. That's how important it is. Belly button down your tailbone. And so if your sacrum, your tail, you probably call your tailbone, as a chiropractor, we call your sacrum. If your sacrum and your hips are misaligned or under stress, then belly button down doesn't understand danger's gone. So a lot of times it's a sacral problem. And we can adjust mom's tailbone and turn the parasympathetics back on, turning off the fight and flight. So the fight and flight gets kicked on when the parasympathetics don't do their job, there's nothing there to control. There's nothing there to tell to stop. There's nothing there to tell the body that we're no longer in survival mode. Let's go back to normal. So if we adjust the tailbone on the female patient and get the tailbone back where it needs to be, now the off switch to the fight and flight works again. And now we're able to turn off the stress response. Therefore, now it's a safe environment again. And now we can have a normal cycle and we can also hopefully deal with the fertility issues. Well, if I'm a female patient and I've been told I have fertility issues or, or maybe I have really bad cycle every month and I want to visit a chiropractor, how do I know that this is my issue? Because again, like everything else, there's lots of reasons. If chiropractic was the end all be all for everybody, we'd be busier, right? Or if more people knew about us, let's talk about it. How do I know? I'll go to the chiropractor and the chiropractor will tell me because your fertility doctor if you ask the fertility doctor about chiropractic, the fertility doctor has done zero studies on it. The fertility doctor knows absolutely nothing about it. And I find that most physicians, not all physicians, I don't mean to stereotype here, but most physicians, if they don't know about something, they tell you to avoid it just because they don't know about it. So if I don't know about it, it must not be a thing. Ask a chiropractor. So let's talk about what you would find out if you went to the chiropractor and you were concerned this was your issue. 
what we look at is we look at your L3 vertebrae, obviously, right? The one I just described in great detail. We could do an x-ray of it if we know that you're not pregnant at that time. If it's misaligned, there's a strong chance that's part of the factor of what's going on. We can measure your tailbone. We can see what's going on with your tailbone. There's a lot of ways to do the tailbone. We can bend your knees, see what's going on with your feet. We can do all kinds of sacral leg checks and see if your sacrum is misaligned. And we can start from that. So if I'm a female and I'm concerned about fertility, I'd go with a chiropractor, have the chiropractor perform a sacral leg check on me, a deer field check on me. You don't know what the sacral leg check is. You don't know what a deer field is. Your family doctor doesn't know what those are either. But every chiropractor does. So the chiropractor can do those things. And if you're off there, then we want to do a deeper dive. Then we want to look at your L3 on an x-ray and see what's happening in your sacrum on an x-ray. And maybe even your top bone in your neck because, like I said, belly button down, a lot of factors there. So I'd want to have my full spine evaluated, see what's going on. And if I have those misalignments, I have those subluxations, and I know those subluxations can affect those body parts, now maybe it's time to give the chiropractor a chance. And what the research shows us, if you go back a couple of months and look at it, it takes 12 adjustments to create a change. Not to fix things. Some people, yes. Some people, but it takes 12 adjustments. The research has showed us that's PubMed indexed, gold standard of research. It takes 12 adjustments to make it a change. So give the chiropractor 12 adjustments. Don't give them one or two. That's a waste of time. Don't diet for one or two days and see if you, your health gets better. You got to go 12 visits to see if it makes a change. You should start to notice the change on the month of your bad cycle. That month should be better. Give the chiropractor more than two or three days, though, before that cycle. Give a realistic chance. Talk to your chiropractor about these fertility issues. They can they give you a deeper dive of what they're seeing. In order to get your pediatric certificate, shows that you do pediatrics and the, with the International Chiropractic Association, you have to write a paper and have it published. They have their own journal. If you go to chiropractic.org, O-R-G, you will see the journals and the pediatric part of that site are there. If you want to read more scientific journals about this, published by chiropractors and chiropractic magazines about chiropractic, unedited by medical physicians, which they like to do. They take our words and they switch them to their words and the whole thing gets confusing. But if you want to see a real chiropractic journal on this topic, just go to chiropractic.org. You'll find it there. Take a look at it. Read up more about it if you want to. Talk to a chiropractor about it. I've been trained in the Webster technique. I'll just bring to moms. I've done a lot of the studies. I've done a lot of this postgraduate work in this area. Uh, talk to your chiropractor, see if that's something they've done. If they're not all chiropractors are into this. So if your chiropractor isn't, ask your chiropractor for a referral to a chiropractor who is into this stuff, who does study this stuff, and they will find you a chiropractor who does this stuff. If you ask your OBGYN, if you ask your fertility doctor and stuff like that, you're probably not going to get a straight answer. I'm just being frank with you. But the chiropractic's out there. We do that stuff. We study it all the time. Most of the time, you just go to the website. You'll see on the website, they talk about this stuff. Webster, like the Webster Dictionary, that's part of these studies. If you just Google search the Webster Technique and chiropractors that study the Webster Technique, they probably studied all the rest of the stuff too. There you have it. Chiropractic fertility and women's health issues. Now, if you have a question for me to ask about chiropractic, leave a comment below. Like I said in this podcast multiple times, only a chiropractor can ask these questions, answer these questions. So go ahead and leave a comment below. We'll get back to you. Maybe next week you'll be the question of the week. Otherwise, you can go to our website. You'll find the links everywhere you're listening or watching this. And you can ask us a question. I'm us. I get those emails. All right. Thanks for tuning in. And hopefully, if you know someone that's trying to start a family, like my family once, my grandma and grandpa did, that's an amazing miracle. It's an amazing story. It's our most fun cases when someone's able to start a family. So reach out to a chiropractor and hopefully that we're, we can help you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.